Okay, so this is my mobile rig in the uh, rental truck. Old uh, old school uh, Midland 4001 oh, 4, mobile. Plugged into the cigarette lighter, barefoot stock mic. I'm using a Striker 5K magnet mount. We've got three mobiles here. We've got the rental truck with the bitchin Camaro on the back. I got my CRV over here with the, uh, let's see, I think this one has the GE emergency radio system in it. So let's go over and take a look at this one. Okay, so in the CRV here, the XYL has this uh, emergency mobile here. I've got my two dogs with me here, so they're kind of tugging on the leash. This old GE emergency mobile radio plug it into the cigarette lighter with the pathetic telescopic magnet mount and I'm getting uh, a little over two miles range uh, between the CRV and the rental truck I think my strikers doing most of the work there but uh, this is uh, uh, working out surprisingly very well so let's go check out the third mobile in the bunch here in our little mini convoy this is my little, my daughter's little Saturn here. And this one here as well has a little Cobra emergency setup in it. Little telescopic maggot mount. And let's unlock this thing and take a look inside. Okay, what we're using here is the little Cobra emergency setup. This is kind of cool. You know, I didn't really take these serious. We're all running 19. I didn't really take these things serious. I bought these at a garage sale years ago. And, you know, they're never used. Nobody uses these kits. And these things came out in, what, late 70s, early 80s. And, uh, you know, everybody kind of laughs at them. But uh, each of these cars, we're, we're getting several miles between us. Here's your remote. But, uh, yeah. So if you guys... You know get get any of these or come across them i mean they do work i'm up here at dead's dead man's pass rest stop up here on the top of cabbage patch just out of pendleton oregon east of pendleton oregon it's beautiful up here man i wish i had my suburban with my big radio and my amplifier in it man you could shoot some dx it's mid-july 2019 skip has been rolling in like gangbusters so, uh, but anyway, yeah, those emergency rigs, man, they work, uh, surprisingly well. Um, I just, you know, I had some of those, I'm moving from Washington state back to Utah and I found those in storage, those mobile rigs in storage. And I'm like, you know what? I'm going to just try it. Uh, what I usually do when we convoy, uh, down from Washington to Salt Lake in the same mobiles. I usually use Striker 5K magnet mounts. Then I use like a Superstar 3900. I have a nice little realistic TRC 434. I put in one car, let's see. Then I use a Cobra 29 uh, in another car. But the problem is with those Striker antennas and those higher output modified radios, um, they uh, give me feedback problems. I have to put uh, chokes on the mic cable and on the coax cable, and they just mess around. And the last time we, we convoyed, they were feeding back and squealing. You know, that Saturn really doesn't have a very good ground plane. All the body panels, except the, the top of the trunk and the roof, they're metal, but all the other body panels are um, plastic. And in the CRV, um, that's a 2018 and it just doesn't, it's not very radio friendly. So I thought that I would try uh, as an experiment that we would use the uh, little emergency radios and they are kicking butt. So next time you're at a yard sale, you see those little emergency radios. If you can get one for five or 10 bucks, I suggest doing it. Don't laugh, don't count them out because they work, man. And we're getting decent range. Uh, not quite as good a range as we usually get with the higher output radios and the better antennas, but they're more problematic, uh, those setups are, and uh, these little emergency radios are far less problematic. And uh, yeah, so we're going to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching, you guys. 
Let's go over here and say hello to Buford. This is my dog Buford T. Justice. What's up, Bobo? He's looking for a place to go a little, do a little dookie action. All right, this is Buford T. Justice and uh, the old Wagon Master 390. Top side of the Evergreen. There you go. That sums it up. We're out.